In my earlier video, I have clearly explained different types of density. In this video, we are going to explain the measurement of apparent density by bound force method. First, what is the apparent density? Apparent density includes the volume of a sample including all pores remaining in a material. In this case, volume includes all the phases inside the geometry boundary including solids, liquids and gas or vapor. Apparent density is calculated as the mass divided by the total volume of a sample. In this procedure, bond force can be determined from the sample mass in submerged liquid. In this experiment, we will use distilled water. In this experiment, we are going to measure the apparent density of potato and apple. First, we are going to prepare one cube of potato and another cube of apple. We are tying potato and apple cubes with a string to hang in liquid wax and water after coating. We are recording the initial mass of the potato. Mass of potato in the year is 2.8286 grams. In this experiment, we are using an analytical balance. For large samples, a top leading balance could be used. We are recording the initial mass of the apple. Mass of apple in the year is 2.1402 gram. We are now coating the sample by dipping in liquid wax and solidifying. Coating the sample by dipping in liquid wax and then solidified. Coating should be at least 3 to 5 times to avoid any uncoated area. After each dipping, we need to wait to solidify the wax on the surface. Temperature of wax should be maintained at optimum level during coating. High temperature forms thin liquid which may cause penetration into the sample, while low temperature may not be spread uniformly on the surface. Temperature of wax around 60 to 65 degrees C was found to be appropriate. Coating needs to be used to avoid mass transfer of water from outside or solutes from the sample to water. Samples can also be covered with silicone grease or a thin layer of epoxy resin adhesive that is araldide in order to make it impervious to water. Adhesives was found to be insoluble in water, resistant to heat, 
humidity, solvent, and acids. We are now recording coated mass of potato and apples. Wax coated mass of potato is 3.6348 gram. Wax coated mass of apple is 2.8286 gram. We could determine the mass of wax from the difference in mass of coated and uncoated sample. We are now recording mass of sinker dipped in water. Sinker mass in water is equal to 0 0.9225 gram. We need to use sinker for avoiding partial floating of the sample. In this experiment, we are using a metal key. We are now recording mass of wax coated potato with sinker dipped in water. Mass coated potato with sinker dipped in water is equal to 4.4605 gram. We are now recording mass of wax coated apple with sinker dipped in water. Mass of coated apple with sinker dipped in water is equal to 4.0158 gram. Apparent density could be estimated using the following equation where apparent density equal to mass of sample in air divided by volume of coated sample with sink minus volume of sinker minus volume of wax. Where Ma is the mass of sample in air, Vsrw volume of sample sinker and wax, uh, Vr equal to volume of sinker, uh, VW volume of wax, MSRW mass of sample sinker wax in water, MR mass of sinker in water, M wax equal to mass of wax in water, rho W is the density of water and rho wax is the density of wax. Apparent density of potato can be calculated using the following equation and the density of potato is calculated as 1.0595 gram per cc or 1059.5 kg per meter cube. Apparent density of apple can be calculated using the following equation and the density of apple is calculated as 0 0.9105 gram per cc or 910.5 kg per meter cube. Possible sources of error are mass transfer from the sample to liquid or liquid to sample. This could be avoided by coating with wax. Partial floating of sample that is liquid lower than density of sample could be used or a heavier sinker could be used to sink the sample in water. If sample is very close or touching to the wall or floor, in this case a wider and deeper beaker could be used. Surface tension and submergence in water. This could be avoided by adding 3 cc of weighting agent in 500 cc distilled water. I would like to thank engineer Rashid Al-Balushi for assisting me to prepare this video. 
Thank you for watching this video until the end. Please subscribe to our channel if you like this video.